Second February 1990, State of the Nation Address. Then President F. W. de Klerk made this announcement in Parliament. The prohibition of the African National Congress, the Pan-Africanist Congress, the South African Communist Party and a number of subsidiary organizations is being rescinded. At that time, South Africa's socio-political landscape was volatile. The question is still asked to this day, was de Klerk pushed into making this decision? He said on CNN he wasn't going to say that apartheid was absolutely wrong. He was going to say apartheid was wrong only in a qualified way. So the answer clearly is that he must have been pushed. The other side of the coin is that his actions should be considered heroic. I'd respond to it by referring them to what President Mandela said at FW's 70th birthday. He gave him full honour for the role that he had played. He said it couldn't have been done without F.W. de Klerk. Either way, that announcement changed the course of South Africa's history. Following the unbanning of the ANC, South African Communist Party, the Pan-African Congress and other political organizations, as well as the release of Mandela from Victor Fistad prison, the country moved into a season of talks and negotiations. It was the 1992 referendum which then led to South Africa's first democratic elections. In 1994, a watershed moment for this country. Described across the world as the rainbow nation, a beacon of hope and reconciliation to all. But 21 years into democracy, the race debate still rages on. We need respect for the historical experience of black people. Just as the Jews will never allow anybody to talk down what happened uh, with, the, with the terrible Holocaust. Just as Afri African Americans will never allow people to talk down slavery, uh, or the Irish people will never allow you to talk down what happened uh, in, in their experience with the English. Historical experiences need to be respected and we need honesty, and until we do that, this racism is going to keep playing itself out. We need to talk with one another about the problems that confront the country, just as we did 25 years ago. All of us are in this together. We can't solve the problems of the country unless we all work together. While the 2nd of February 1990 was a very important day which changed the course of our history, the calls for a systematic organized dialogue on racism to deal with the scourge still very prevalent in South African society have become louder. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.